Hiya! Let's talk about the Traders update. First of all, first thing you need to know before we do anything is that save, exit, reload forgives a lot of sins. Not your sins, dev sins. Um, now let's uh, put together a landing pad. Uh, for now, it only needs to be uh, 3 by 3 so 9 squares. And we could just choose any kind of of uh, sides here. The game, the uh, landing pad really doesn't care uh, what configuration you uh, put the, the the landing pad into. It must have one of these um, uh, landing pad data and power centers. The pads are completed with steel, not iron. I think that's uh, missing a trick there. I think it should be iron. Um, and we need frames now. And we'll just build ourselves a little platform. Okay, now we do, we, we uh, build a dish. And I'm going to build the dish right up against the, uh, the landing pad here. And I'll tell you why in a second. And of course the vending machine, which personally I think is pretty dumb. I don't know why we need a vending machine, but we have a vending machine. Well, I know why we have a vending machine, but... Why call it a vending machine? Why this mechanic? Who the hell knows? Okay, we'll finish building this. It takes two levels of build. There we go. We'll turn it on, and we'll turn that on, and we'll turn that on, and we will give it an RTG, um, just because. RTG, cable. Now, the reason um, I think that you should build this uh, pretty close to the to the pad and forget about mostly everything is because to find a trader is a lot more involved. So if you're in a place uh, where you think it's going to take you a while to um, to do anything, you should uh, build some remote connections to the outside world here, to the to those things there. And all you really need, once I finish this off. Okay, is a few um, logic chips. Okay, now our first we'll 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 build the switches, switch, and we'll build the switches right here like this. Um, uh, like this, uh, like this. Yeah, that's fine. A little far away from my taste, but. That's fine. Connect the switches together, or the uh, dials together, once you've selected dial. And then what you can do is you can uh, build um, these little logic circuits and choose uh, uh, logic right. Connect them up. Now, this isn't strictly necessary, but if you're on, let's say, um, uh, Venus, you absolutely want this. So, uh, we can't rename these, so we'll just call, we'll just guess what they are here. We'll put in dial, in first dial, second dial, out, we want, uh, Small satellite, out. Small satellite. Uh, then the variable vertical. 
and horizontal. And you can place these any way you want, but I'm going to use this one as the up and down, the vertical. So for that, we need 90 degrees. Okay, and this I'm going to use as the horizontal. And for that, we need uh, 360 degrees. Okay, now we got that set. Uh, you'll want to turn your wattage up all the way. Um, whatever uh, dish you have, forget about low wattage. I don't know why it's on there. It's crap. You actually can't search for um, contacts with low wattage, except maybe with the big dish. But even with the big dish, it doesn't matter because it moves so slowly that you might as well just boot the, boost the wattage all the way up and um, contact your contacts that way. With the um, uh, with the small dish, forget it. Um, low wattage, just forget it. It's I don't know why it's there. It's junk. And I put the wrong controller in there. That's the logic controller. And the logic controller is actually good. Might look at that more in the future, but it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice addition. I'm glad it. I'm glad it was. It was. Uh, it was added. So we'll put this in here, and we already have some contacts. Now this bottom contact, that's going to be too easy because it's already uh, pretty small. So we're going to put uh, spec small b. What? Whatever this friggin' thing is. Uh, the timer here is how many seconds until the trader gets lost. You have three traders. That's it. You only have three traders. It doesn't matter if you have a small, medium, a large satellite. All you get is three traders. And it looks like the dice roll is random. So all three of these traders could be far away. Um, some can be medium range. Some can be uh, long range. And uh, depending on the range, it will all require uh, different, um, different powers to uh, send messages to them. Now I'm going to give myself a light. Because it's uh, it's dark, and uh, I give myself a battery for that light because light without power is a candle. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see if I hook these up right. Uh, why is not working? Oh. oh, because it was pointed upwards. So I find that the best thing to do is put it at a 45 degree angle. 45. Oops. 45 degree angle. So the dish is at a 45 degrees angle. That means you're halfway between the horizon and straight up. Then uh, just move by tens. We'll reset this down to zero. Okay, so we move by tens. You have to wait till the dish stops before you can get a reading. Another ten. Another ten. Another ten. And we just go around the whole 365, 365 degrees. So the top, uh, the top contact we got a little bit of a signal, but you see it's starting to fill up here. Depending on how slowly or how quickly it's filling up, just wait for it to fill. Right now it's not terribly slow. It'll fill up in maybe 30 seconds, and once it finishes filling, it's going to give us another piece of information. Okay, now we have another piece of information. We are 80 degrees off center from the contact. That means it can be 80 degrees in this direction, 80 degrees in this direction, or 80 degrees in this direction. There is nothing below the horizon, I don't think. I don't think there's anything below the horizon. Now, we were coming from this direction, and it was slower over here. So it's probably 
closer to this way. So let's go up 20. Okay, and we have to wait for it to go into back into place. And now it's going to fill up. I already forgot what the degrees were. I think it was 70 or 80. 80 degrees, I think. Okay, so 68, we're closer. Now we'll, we'll, okay, I, I set this up wrong. So this one is the horizontal. Let's just increase that to 360 for now. Again, it doesn't matter uh, which one you set to which, whatever you're more comfortable with. So one, two. Okay, and labeling them is much better, but... There, so we're 50 degrees off. Let's go another two. One, two. We're at 120 degrees now. That's what the, that's what the satellite is aimed at. 35, and we got the bottom one too. Now we're going to stick with the top one. Who cares about the bottom one? 35 degrees, let's go just one more because we're starting to get close and it's filling up filling up crack uh, quicker so 26 degrees one more now one of the reasons that we want to try to get as close as possible so 19 degrees I'm going to choose to go um, five degrees up but if you go in increments of one you can actually go forward pretty quickly it's hard to see 16 15 1 2 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13, this may go up, 12, 1, 2, 12, let's go 1 up on this, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, we'll go 1 up on this one, there we go, now we're perfectly aligned, you push the satellite button here, the little communication button, and that'll start the interrogator. And it'll, it'll go for five seconds. There are different lengths for different times. Now that contact is known. Any other satellite dish um, on your network, not on the network, sorry about that, not network, but any other satellite dish on the planet will know where this contact is. So if, if I build another satellite dish over here, this contact will populate that contact over there. So if you have a great big satellite dish off over to the side, um, all you need is a little satellite dish connected to your landing pad and it'll still land there if you contact it from that computer. Now the computers and the dishes have to be separate. Now we'll get this guy to land and he'll come down. There he is. And I pointed the thing in the wrong direction. Now he's down. And we can go talk to this jackass. Hi, jackass. Okay, so he's got stuff. We do trading. We tell him, get lost, apart, go away. Now, once he leaves, he's still populating that, uh, that spot. That spot doesn't move. The most contacts you will get is three. And they, they refresh about every 20 minutes. So you're going to get three new contacts every 20 minutes. Sometimes they fall out of sync to one another. But uh, typically, see, he's gone. He's still there. I can call him back down again. But I'm not going to because he's a jerk. And he already left. But that's how you call him down. Now, if I set this... Uh, receiver to lower, just to, to show you that it, it is a pain in the ass. If I set the receiver to lower to 50, that's one quarter. I don't know if they do this on this game, but um, radio signals, the strength of a radio signal, uh, the distance traveled, squares square roots its strength. So it's possible that this is doing it as well. So if you start start off with a quarter of the signal, uh, by the time you get to the same distance that the higher signal uh, went, you're actually degrading your signal a lot more because it's already starting off as a low signal. 
I think that's how that works, with square roots. No, the higher signal squares. Whatever. Uh, square roots are terrible. I mean, this uh, the lower signal is terrible. Like, if we see how high that is, like it's just uh, uh, halfway between the second frame, if we move it one cell over, we've completely lost it. But you notice that this one has suddenly gone up. This is the really strange part about this, about this, uh, um, uh, about this mechanic. Okay, so we're at the lowest setting. Suddenly, this guy is almost uh, fifty percent of signal. If I turn this, if I turn this back up, oops! If I turn this back up to full power, and then I I move the dish a little bit to refresh. Suddenly, he's got no signal. This, I think, is a bug. If it's not a bug, then it's goddamn evil. So, um, it seems like, and I'm just guessing here, it seems like if you send a low power signal out and the object is very far away, the trader is very far away, you need high power to get to it, it inverses. So what happens is, is, is if, the, if you can never get the trader and you put it to low power and you start searching around for it, the best signal you will get is from the trader that's the farthest away. I know that sounds ridiculous. I think it's a bug. Um, I'm positive the, the developers don't play uh, the game. And if you are a developer, if you are one of the developers and you are playing your own game, then I invite you to call me names. I will gladly accept it, but I also won't believe you very much because... I... Same thing happened to Seven Days to Die. Mad Wolf stopped playing the game. He admitted to it. And all he does is go into creative mode and test the little things out. That's not how... That's You have to play the game. Okay? You have to, to sit down and do a whole play session to figure out if it's working. Okay? I used to program consumer appliances. And I, have to use, I had to use the appliance in all of its operations to make sure it worked. You can't do it on an emulator. You can't do it in creative mode. You actually have to touch the merchandise. That was actually a saying. I don't know who told me that, but... Okay, so in five seconds, this Hulse, uh, Hall Corp security is going to go away. Um, it's not going away. There it is. It's not going away. And we have a new thing down here, and it's the same guy. I don't know if that's an error or not, but let's try to make him. Uh, so this is this is our. I, I reversed the two things. So this one is our our uh, our uh, our vertical. So we'll set that down to sixty. I mean ninety. Sorry, ninety. And we'll put that up to forty-five degrees. There we go. And then we just we'll just start our search pattern. Okay. Nope. Oh, and uh, turn the power up. Again, low power searches. Uh, anything in low power is worthless. Don't even try. And we'll go ten more. Uh, wait till it changes. Ten more. Nope. Ten more. Now, it's 100% possible that all of these contacts are too far away for us to contact. Okay, this one is slowly filling up, but it's slow. So, let's add 30 onto the dial. And it's filling up a little faster. And that's fast enough. I'm a little impatient, so I might move it again. But let's just wait, and that'll, that'll fill up. And there, it tells us that it's 74 degrees off-center. Now we're at a 45 degree angle, so the farthest it can be off uh, between horizon and absolute out, like normal, uh, a normal radial, uh, would be 45 degrees. So at least, you know, 20 degrees out. I usually take 20 degrees off because I am sort of OCD that way. I keep doing the same thing. It's filling up a little faster. Now, I already know it's filling up faster, so I'm going to 
Take 20 off again. Oh, and it's much faster this time. Let's see what it tells us. 42. So I'll go down two more, and let's see if it's 22. Oh, no, it's not 22. It's 29. So let's go five off. No, it's still 29. So one, two. We'll set it. We'll cut the. Uh, um, we'll split the difference. Nope. Let's go that way. No, it's still bad. Okay, let's go up and down then. We'll go five degrees down. I think that's down. 27. We'll go 10 degrees now. 19. Another 10 degrees. Uh, 18. So, split the difference again. 17 degrees. Now we just sort of fine-tune it, and it's it's in your own best interest to get it as close as possible, because the, the closer you are to the center, one, two, three, four, five, the better the signal will be and the faster your interrogator will go across. One, two, three. Now, one, two. One. 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 And again, we could be doing all of this from inside our base. One, two. There we go. Zero signal. We send it a message. Uh, it takes five seconds. At well, All we need is 25 watts, but we've got the full 200. And then we interrogate. And we've got contact immediately. Now, we send for them to land. And here he comes. I forgot to switch that around. Doesn't matter. Now, once he lands, well, I don't think we need to have the uh, dish on anymore. Well, let's turn it off. The landing pad has to be activated, though. Okay, there we go. And what does he have for us? He has uh, nitrogen at 20 degrees. That's very good. And he has oxygen at 20 degrees. And he has a mix of carbon dioxide, volatiles, and poison at uh, 520 degrees. He's got poison at 20 degrees, and he's got nitrous oxide at 20 degrees. Cool. Now, I want his shit. I want his gas. Because uh, I love him, and he loves me. We will need a... Uh, a gas thingy. So, back to landing pads. Uh, now, I haven't tried this before to adding to the landing pad when somebody's already on there. This will be the first time. So what we need is a gas outlet and we need gas storage. Uh, we'll build those two up. There we go. And what kind of gas do we want? And there's very minimal storage to this. I think you can add more onto it, but there's not very much storage in those things. And it's only one way. Uh, it, it will, they will only give you gas. They won't take gas. Um, and I think I want... Oh, I have no money. Okay, let's get a credit card. Now, I didn't know this before, and I and for some reason I tried everywhere but my hand. But if you're holding the credit card, you can actually it'll actually register that you have money. Anywhere else on your person, anywhere else, it's not going to register. Unless you have clothes on, and you have to be human for that. It doesn't work with the robot. I didn't think robot works at all, but they do. But it has to be in your hand. Okay, so we are going to buy all of that nitrogen. Let's buy all of that nitrogen from them. And this might be too much, so it might blow up, which is fine. If it wants to blow up, it'll blow up. And uh, let's get an Apmo card to see what we're doing. There. Now, the entire um, landing pad registers as um, a storage device. 
that's the storage device there. If you don't have it, you can't store anything in there. So now we have we have uh, gas at uh, 20 degrees. I don't know what the units are. Okay, so if you look at him and you see, um, and it doesn't say here, but like it'll say units, quantity. I don't know what it means. And this doesn't work here either. But uh, the, the units do not correspond with moles. They don't correspond with um, pressure. Um, they don't correspond to anything, it seems. I don't know what it, what it means. But now that we have the nitrogen, let's say we want to sell it back to them. I realize it just said you can't sell it back to them, but you actually can sell it back to them. What we need is we need cables. Uh, actually, let's go for a regulator first. Go for a reg. And we'll put the reg down right here. My reg. And I'll put it right there. And then we'll go for some pipeies. Oops. Pipe. 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 And a little pipe. Then we'll go for cable. Now, I'm not sure if this actually needs to be cabled. Or, uh, I haven't even looked at what the uh, um, what the configuration options are, but let's power it anyways. Uh, he won't leave if it's unpowered, so you can unpower everything and just make him stand there forever. There. And then we'll set this up to be 9,000 kPa. Uh, now, for my purposes, the reason that I want to be able to sell back to these traders is I only want the gas temporarily in my current uh, playthrough. Then we need a storage thing. Storage thing. And we need a canister. And we'll make a bunch of canisters. Canister, 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 canister. Pop that in there. Turn that on. Oh, and we need to turn this on too, because that will that will let the gas out. That's good enough. We don't want it taking forever. I'll put an empty one. Put an empty one in there for now. And we'll shove it into the uh, uh, the vendor, vending machine. We'll go to him. And we can now sell it back to him for um, an extremely reduced cost. Oh, here's his quantities. This must be my quantity, sorry. Kind of mixed up here. So I think originally we had like a couple thousand there. Or a couple hundred, we can sell that to him for three hundred and um, uh, twenty-two dollars, twenty-two credit, and we'll buy back more gas. There we go. Confirm. Ah, not enough money. Okay, let's reset, and we'll just sell this back to him as is. Did he steal it? He stole it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be my hand. Okay, so it looks like he doesn't want to buy the canister. Uh, oh, sorry, it's the negative. Ah, stupid thing. Okay, we'll sell him that back. There. And uh, we started off with 8,000, now we're at 2,200. So you can see how uh, one-sided selling gas is. If we buy this gas again, we can't get very much of it. We can get, uh, well, as much as he's selling, actually. Uh, not enough money to complete the trade. Put down a little in. There we go.
There. Buy all the rest that he's got. Just bankrupt ourselves. And that wasn't even that wasn't even close to uh, one uh, melopascal. But what this will allow you to do to buy gas, especially if it's stuff that you that you need, you can then use it in your base. Now, for my purposes, I want it to um, use it as a coolant. So I'm, I'll be buying my coolant from him, uh, from the traders, uh, because I'm doing a, a, a challenge thing. But I don't think he gives you trade on thermal energy. We're just going to let this uh, let this go down here. Okay, so whatever. So we'll just do a little experiment. We'll put this in the in the in the bottle. Okay. And we got that in the vendor. Go back to him and then he will give us uh more for that one. I don't know why he'll give us more. But he will give us more. Oh, there's more moles in that one. Hmm. Uh, the, this tells us how many moles, but this does not tell us how many moles, so that just tells you what that is. But, let's say we're going to use it for cooling, which is important on, say, like, Venus. So, we will uh, take a heater, and we'll just tie the heater on here, RTG. And uh, let's say that this is your base on Venus. And now you're going to transfer heat from your base to um, your storage medium. Oh, that's, that's high, that's high, that's high. Oh, it's going to blow, it's going to blow. And you can sell it to them hotter. They'll give you the same price for it. Let's uh, sell. Oops, this side. Sell him that, and we'll get a few bucks. Confirm. Do it again. This time with less gas. We're not going to blow ourselves up. We've waited long enough. We're going to sell this to him now that it's full of our thermal energy. And we get a little bit of money back. We get uh, 322 credits back. Oops. Uh, uh, 353 credits back. There we go. Oh, God damn it. This is annoying. Now, he also has uh, an amount of money that... Um, he can spend. So uh, each trader is finite. Now, um, in the playthrough that I'm doing right now, um, so one of the things that you can sell him is a sorter card. So if we go sorter, sorter motherboard, and we go to sell him a sorter motherboard, that is gold and silver, I think, or something along those lines. I know silver is one of them. Um, he is paying 368 bucks for it. Let's sell it to him. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Confirm. But silver is... Uh, hard to get in in some places. I've um, on my Venus playthrough. I've I've had difficulty finding silver. So oh no, not that battery. Small batteries use iron, copper, and gold, which are fairly easy to find. Gold is actually pretty easy to find. And we will see that he is paying. $122 for it. That's better than my playthrough. In my playthrough, he was only paying 
um, 98 bucks. And we can sell him that. And he has, what? Does he have $139,000? He's got $139,000. Okay. So well, let's just do this. And batteries aren't hard to create. You can create them very early on in the game. And we have 15 batteries that we can sell. We'll sell all 15 batteries. And we will get uh, 3200 bucks for the deal. Gas Trader. Totally overpriced. Totally, totally overpriced. But the easiest thing to sell him is um, crops. Because it doesn't cost you anything but water, uh, which is sometimes uh, precious. But I think they have an offset for crops, and they'll pay you more for them. Much more than, than they're worth. Eh, not really. I thought they were, but they're not. Ooh, baked potato is a lot more. So, uh, okay, we get 20 potatoes. Let's see what happens if we'll sell him 20 baked potatoes. We already got one there. I think I spawned a baked potato. Yep, that was a baked potato. So that's two. Three, let's get closer. That's not, that one's not wanting to go in. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. There we go. There we go. We put twenty baked potatoes in our boat. And he will give us quite a bit of money for that. So it pays to bake the bake your potatoes. Which doesn't take very much time at all. I'll sell him the potatoes too. And we have made a thousand dollars on 20 baked potatoes and 20 non baked potatoes. Although baked potatoes, nope, fuck off. Oh god, I hate that. Uh, but baked potatoes do not stack anymore. They used to stack, now they don't stack. They could just stack the calories together. They don't. It, it's garbage. I don't like it. But you can also have him sit here all the live long day and just just suck all of his, his gas trade off. But uh, you won't get a new trader. At least I don't think you do. If I look back over here... Oh, I turned off the... This thing. Yeah, yeah, still only have three. He was going to leave three minutes ago. Uh, but he hasn't, so he is still populating uh, the contacts list, and he he won't go away. Now I can look, I can I can search for these guys while he's sitting here, but it doesn't matter. The sooner he gets lost, the uh, the sooner you can you can call down another trader because his inventory will not reset while he's standing here. So I'll sell this to him. Confirm. I really hate this mechanic. And get lost. And that's it. No. There. There we go. And now that he is gone. A new, uh, a new guy will populate. 
And there's another gas trader. I don't think that's the same one. I think that might be a different one. 50 degrees off center, so let's uh, let's try this. One, two, three. Thirty. One, two. Fourteen. Let's just do a ten. Uh, no, one, two, three, four, five. Split the difference. One, two, up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Go back one. Go over it this way one. This way two. No. Two. There we go. And we have enough wattage for him. And he'll interrogate. Send him down. Let's uh, shut the hole. And here he is. This is the same goddamn guy. No, he's a different guy. Because some because the the non baked potatoes are not are not there anymore, and the canisters aren't there. So it's possible he is the same guy, uh, but his inventory has just been shuffled a bit, and he's got a few more things. So he's got water at a thousand degrees, but he also has water at 20 degrees. That's nice. He's got way more hot water than he does cold water. But cold water is usually what you want. Let's buy some water. But I need to put the goddamn credit card in my hand because having it on me isn't enough. Okay, we buy some water. Uh, a little more. A little less. Okay, we'll buy some water. That gas canister also holds the water. So, we have water. Water. But, this thing uh, won't offload water. For that, you need the, um, the water doodad. And I'm not going to show that because if you don't know how to deal with water... In this game, maybe you should play a little bit more. Liquid. There's only one liquid right now. Hopefully they'll have more liquids. But that's it. We don't need him anymore. Get lost. Depart. Uh, let's make this guy. I always set the... Uh, the vertical back down to uh, 45 because that's halfway in between the two. And then I just scan the sky like that. Now, of course, it'll probably it's probably much better if you like built a wall here or a wall here and put the uh, the dials closer. It doesn't really matter where they go. And you can also use the dials on the satellite itself. Okay. So this guy is already showing up. Like, he's he's got a bar. Okay, we're at zero degrees. I'm going to have to go around the horn here. It's better to shut the... Uh, um, uh, shut the thing off before you do that because you don't want the thing to go all the way around. The... So I'd like to scroll the way around. Ooh. Maybe I'll get him. I doubt it, though. Because if it's doing this, showing you some kind of, of signal strength, usually that means he's too far away. I'm glad this one came up. He's too far away. And no matter what I do, I could spend hours trying to tune him in, or the whole time that he's sitting there. 
and I'll never get more than just this. But I also found that the really far away targets tend to have the best signal strength right on the horizon. I don't know why that could be another bug, but now that I'm sitting right on the horizon, it's uh, filled up almost all the way. But this guy, uh, we got an interrogator for, and he's nine degrees off. Now, it doesn't have to be zero. If I push it here, um, 155 watts is getting to him. That's not enough. We need a little bit more wattage. So we can turn to face him. That might be a little further than he was. No. Nope. Let's go up one. That might be a little better. Six. Four. One, two, three. One. Two. One, two. Zero. There we go. Now we've got the whole signal strength on him, but it's still going to take a long time. So this guy is probably further away than um, than the other guys. He might be at, at uh, medium distance because it's taking longer. And as long as we can keep the signal strength up for a minute, it'll be fine. If I went to shut the, the dish off, um, then we'll lose the signal and we have to start all over again. And he's going to be there for eight minutes, so we're not terribly... Um, Terribly concerned about him going, coming, or going. Let's just give him a few secs. Yeah, now he's been interrogated. We'll get him to land. Here he comes. And he's got all the baked potatoes on him, too. Oh, he's got my credit card on him, too. Uh, so, uh, there's a wind turbine, a hydro hydroponic station, that stupid soundboard. How much? Eh, yeah. Eh, cable analyzer. What's the most expensive thing you've got here? Uh, the rocket kit. So the rocket kit's pretty, pretty expensive. The longer something takes to make, and the more stuff it takes to, to make it with, uh, the more they seem to pay for it. There is some sort of calculus in, in the game that goes on. Now, let's take a look at that. Uh, here is the Trader XML, and it gives you sort of the base value for things. I don't know if this is one credit or one-tenth of a credit. It doesn't matter. It'll just give you sort of a, a guesstimate of how much things uh, cost. So if you're going to sell flour, the value of one. Just a biomass, I think it's... That's just um, rotted stuff. One. Milk, one. Um, I are, uh, eggs, six. So if you're raising chickens, that seems to uh, seems to give you a good price for that. Iron, the base rate is 1.1. Gold, the base rate is 4. Uh, carbon, which is coal, the base rate is 15. Uranium gives you 7. So uranium does have a value in the game. Sell it to your traders. Um, it's not used in anything else, I, I can't think. Copper is 2.5. Steel is only 4. Um, hydrocarbon would be volatiles. Um, it is 1.5. Silver uh, is very expensive at uh, 9.5. Nickel is the most at 12. Lead at 13. Uh, electrium, which is one of the alloys... Uh, 13, Invar, 13, um, Constantine, whatever the hell it is, 13, Solder, 13. Solder's pretty easy to make. Um, plastic, I'm not sure what plastic is. Plastic isn't a, um, um, isn't something you can make. It doesn't mean plastic sheets, although it might mean plastic sheets, but, uh, it's not silicon. Silicon is in here somewhere. Uh, Silicon is the next one down. So plastics at 2.5. This could be a remnant of something else that they were going to add. 
Maybe we're going to be making plastic sometime in the future. I don't know. Silicon, 2.3. Sicilis stuff, zero. Alcohol is also not in the game, zero. Oil, 2.2. I haven't seen oil anywhere. Potato is one. Tomato is one. Don't know what that is, one. And then colors, all one. Pumpkin, one. Rice, one. Corn, one. Some more alloys. Um, uh, wasp alloy is uh, 32, but these are pretty complex um, alloys. And if you add up all of the individual uh, points you get for the things that go into your alloy, it doesn't work out. But you still get more money for it. Here's the gases. Uh, cobalt is also a lot at 26. But cobalt is also super rare. Um, oxygen, 3. Carbon dioxide, 0.5. Water, 6. Nitrogen, 2. Volatiles, 1. It's very surprising that volatiles are so inexpensive. Pollutant is a negative 1. That means you have to pay them to take it away. To take it away. Might as well just dump it into space. Uh, and then nitrous oxide is uh, one as well. Um, now, I ha I don't think I've seen pollutant being sold, but if it if it is sold, does that mean we get a we get a positive? Will they give us money for taking pollutant? That might be interesting. And then releasing it into the environment. I have no idea. But it looks like either there's remnants from old stuff, or they're planning on expanding. Like, it's possible that, that we're going to have oil, playing with oil at some point in the future. Or it, it existed in the past, I don't know. They've implemented and taken away a lot of things over this um, development history. It's possible also that if you color things, they are worth more. So let's say you wanted this to sell a bunch of frames or something, or um, wall segments, and you colored it, each wall segment might be worth um, one unit more. And what these units are, again, I don't know. It, everything is as clear as mud in this, uh, um, in this setup. But you can get an idea of how much they'll pay for things by looking at this, and also just looking at the trades. Trades seem to be heavily randomized by how much they're going to give you. You can get one trader that won't, that won't sell you, that won't pay you very much for things, and then the next trader might pay you almost double for it. So um, who knows? I don't think there's any um, global modifiers, but there might be. Back in the game here, we'll tell this guy to get lost. Go away. And... Um, when he uh, when he gets up there, okay, so uh, one of the gas traders that we contacted is still on the list. I don't know if that was a previous one, uh, but he's still here. This Hall Corp security we're never going to get because it's too far away. Now, there are two other um, satellite dishes. Here's the big goddamn dish. No, oh, that's not the big goddamn dish. There's the big goddamn dish. There it is. And it's a big goddamn dish. It's four wide, four long. I have to put frames underneath it because it needs frames for some reason. Lots of stuff doesn't, but. Makes no sense what does and doesn't need it, but maybe it works out in the dev's mind. We have no idea. Now, I think it's kind of important to show you this uh, huge satellite dish because it has some genuine disadvantages. But uh, you will need it to reach the furthest traders. We'll turn this on. And there are all the names. Now, if I turn the power up, yeah, we're going to have to make another RTG because it takes a lot of power. Uh, 
Oh, it's gonna need more. Okay, whatever. It's glitched. I can't show you. Who cares? Yeah, it's only supposed to be 2,000 watts, but it's not working. That's that's the problem with... Well, generally this game is that uh, uh, things will stop working for whatever reason. And you don't really do anything. But the point that I'm trying to make with this big satellite is that it is goddamn slow. For it to move one degree, to move one degree in any direction is the same amount of time that the small satellite dish takes to move um, an entire rotation. Okay, so it is extremely slow. And if you're going to use the big satellite dish, you might as well just power it to the maximum. So minimum is two is 2,000 watts. Maximum, I think, is 50,000. It is 50,000 watts. You can supply that with, I think, five coal generators, which is not uh, super hard to get going. And at maximum power, um, you will get most targets at maximum power. Um, you might have to move the satellite a bit, but... You, you want to keep movement of the satellite to a minimum because it takes it just takes so long to do anything with it. Um, as you as you've seen, it also glitches out. The small one also glitches out. Your medium dish, the medium dish is the original dish. Uh, where is the medium dish? Is it? Oh, that's wreckage. Is this it? Yeah, this is the medium dish, and it's basically the original dish. And um, that moves much slower than uh, than the original dish did. So it's like half the, half the speed of the small dish. But if you get targets pointed directly at it, um, you should get most of um, most of your targets. Uh, this one again. Barely move it on maximum power, and you will get most of the targets. You get all of the targets, probably. That's it. That's the tutorial. Um, it needs work. Tutorial needs work, and the game needs work, because the game is kind of needs work. Yeah. There you go. Sorry about it being kind of uh, here and there, but... Uh, that's the basics of traders.